Howdy. What took you so long? I called you this morning. <laughs> Everybody's in a hurry. For 20 years, a life stays dull. And in 20 minutes, it's got to be sharp. How much for this? What kind of knife is this? How much? Well, it's a long trip out here. Two dollars. I'll tell you what. I'll shop them every knife you got in your house for free. Just this. You'd save money. I said just this. this was? Never saw one before. It's a surgical knife. Doctors use it. What do you use it for? Various things. enough to whittle wood. Anything else I can do? Be careful with that young lady. You may cut yourself. so lonely when Warren leaves, isn't it? It's too bright in here. Don't you think so, Helga? too much, Helga, before you couldn't talk at all. Well, at least you won't scream the way Warren did when he was a little boy. Out here in the woods, no one could hear him scream, could they? Oh, I never liked your eyes, Helga. They see too much. Jonas, this is uh, quite a surprise. I'm on my way to a house call nearby, so I thought I'd make up for lost time and pay Helga a visit. Where is she? In there. Ah, oh, yes. Hello, Helga. My, it's been many years. I'm sorry to hear about your illness. You don't look bad, though. Probably outlive all of us. You know, I've been meaning to visit you for a whole year, ever since you got back from Denmark. But with one thing and another. Anyway, I'm here now for what it's worth. Tell you one thing, Helga. You've done a good job raising Warren. He's a fine young fellow. You should be very proud. Well, you do a lot of reading, Emily. Books, magazines. Dr. Jonas, you'll, you'll lose my place. 
Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'm a sucker for murder mysteries myself. Chew them up by the carload. How about you, Emily? You go in for that kind? No. No, they don't interest me. No? Love stories, I guess. Once in a while. Well, I imagine it gets kind of lonely out here. Reading probably helps pass the time. Trouble is, you read too much, you get headaches. Bothered much by headaches, Emily? I'm sorry, Dr. Jonas, but it's time for Helga's nap. She hasn't been too well lately, and she needs a rest. Yes, of course. Well, it's time for me to leave anyhow. Now, you get plenty of rest, uh, Helga, and do just what Emily tells you, and I'll be in to see you again real soon. Helga will like that, won't you, dear? And now we'll go upstairs. You need your rest. Something you're trying to say, Helga? Anything I can do? She doesn't want you to leave, Doctor. Your, your visit excited her. Yes, yes, of course. Well, next time I'll stay longer. That's a promise. Oh, Emily. Yes? Your telephone. It's off the hook. Well, I always do that when Helga takes her nap. The ringing bothers her. Something you want, Doctor? No, I guess not. No! 